Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Fabien Roch. I'm an associate professor of economics with Paris Dauphine University, and I also work for Compass Lexicon, an economics consultancy. What I'm going to try to do in the next few minutes is to explain to you the fundamental economics of externalities, which is something which is at the root of emissions trading and very much relevant for things like European carbon market or other markets which are implemented for emissions trading around the globe. Let us start first with the theory. In an efficient market, you know that um, basically the equilibrium price is determined by supply and demand crossing in a single point, which determines the price and the quantities produced. Now, what is important is that in that case, the supply curve, the production of that good, is only taking into account the private cost of production. What happens is that typically the social cost can be different from the private cost of production. In the case of carbon emissions, to take an example, imagine um, a power plant. The power plant producing from a fossil fuel would have a private production cost, which would be composed of the fossil fuel, so the gas, the coal, the oil that is being used, as well as, of course, the running cost of the plant. But the social cost of the plant would include the impact of the carbon emissions of the plant on climate change and therefore on the people. And this is where we have a difference between the supply based on the private marginal cost of production and the social marginal cost, the higher curve. And you see that this leads to a different market equilibrium. If we were to take into account the real cost, meaning the social cost of production associated with this power plant, we would actually have a reduced production. Q optimum, as you see, is reduced compared to Q market. Now, how do we deal with that issue? The fact that we have an externality that leads us to produce too much of that good and to, of course, emit too much CO2. Well, economists have come up with two different approaches. The first one is the taxation approach. It's been proposed first by Arthur Cecil Pigou, a famous economist, which basically suggested that we could introduce a tax which would ensure that we would end up with an optimum in the market that would be equivalent to basically uh, the optimum we would obtain once we would incorporate the social cost, the full social cost associated with the emissions. The way to visualize that on that chart is that we need to put in place a carbon tax that would shift up the supply curve to include um, basically the cost on society of emissions. Now the difficulty here is of course to identify that carbon tax and you see that it does require quite a bit of information on the production cost of the different technologies. Um, this is not something that is easy in practice. And another approach that has been proposed is essentially emissions trading. The approach has been proposed by Ronald Coase, another famous economist, Nobel Prize winner. And the idea is very much that instead of setting a price, a carbon tax, we would set a maximum quantity of emissions. So you see here on that chart, essentially the Q constraint is the quantity of emissions um, that is efficient from a social point of view. And that is leading us to the new market equilibrium that is uh, optimal from a social point of view. Now, what is the beauty of this approach compared to the tax, to some extent, is that you don't need to have so much information about the private cost of productions of the different uh, producers in your market. You only need, it's not easy either in practice, but you only need to set that maximum amount of uh, emissions. And then you need to put in place, of course, a mechanism for allocating and trading these permits to pollute. This is the principle of an emission trading scheme by which the price of the good is going to be only one of the components. You'll have the price of the good and then the price of the permit determining your total cost in that case. So to conclude, um, this theory that we have seen um, of how you can correct for some of the externalities effects on market equilibrium is what underpins a lot of the public interventions we see in markets. In the energy space, for instance, taxation of carbon, or emission trading schemes for carbon are based on these ideas 
uh, that you need basically to correct for the effect of these externalities on the equilibrium price. Thank you very much for your attention.